Greetings, friends. Carbohydrates are good for you. You should eat them. They're the foundation of any meal. Uh, I see a lot of people uh, eating no carbs and maybe they go meat only or maybe they're vegetarian or a vegan and uh, I'm not gonna get into those topics uh, but just in my experience you need fuel right if I go biking across the city what else would you fill up on other than carbs it's it's the foundation of a meal it actually makes me feel full I remember going to Korea and, and seeing my friend there who was teaching English and he'd been living there for half a year to a year maybe longer by the time I saw him he'd lost a lot of weight and we went to a Korean barbecue and they, they did the, 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 the beef and, and various vegetables and you know grilled and like so flavorful so after we finished this uh, sampling of meat and, and vegetables which they think was a meal or dinner I was like well, where's the where's the rice oh we got to get that extra so we got some rice there uh, because I because I requested it and uh, just the other day I was at a restaurant downtown uh, they did ask for uh, my uh, you know what passport and we didn't have it the group that I was in and they let us sit there anyways but that inside but that's a, that's another issue um, but I, uh, I ordered like the breakfast meal, like eggs, sausages, came with a salad, but hash browns and toast, right? I ate the whole thing, I cleaned the plate, it was, everything was tasty, but later that day I didn't feel right. And I was thinking, what could it have been? And, and then I was like, aha, the hash brown portion was so small. The toast was only probably two pieces of bread sliced each way you know you get a triangle so four triangle not you know not really I could eat three times that amount of bread and I could eat three times that amount of hash browns that was on that plate and that restaurant is in an area that's going to be frequented by wealthier people it's a more I don't know a gentrified neighborhood let's put it that way now why do the gentrified areas in some cases seem to offer portions of food that are smaller than you would find in a working class area for immigrants what is going on here so eat your carbs they're good for you i mean maybe if you have some problem you're trying to lose weight or you have some reason where you got to watch carbs then that makes sense to me fine I mean carbs can anything in excess can be damaging but I don't understand this this move and, and people saying oh like go off the carbs you know, it's your basic fuel like how am I gonna work laboring in this uh, meat packing factory unless I didn't stuff myself with carbs I'm eating after I'm getting up I'm eating on the second break at 9 15 I just cram down two apple turnovers on, on the at lunch I'm eating bread with with sausage and some some uh, lettuce and tomato and onion, a little mayonnaise, maybe some nuts. So I mean, I've already eaten three meals today. I had a few nuts before coming out here. Some peanuts. I'm gonna go home, maybe make a, a soup with bread and butter, just a light meal because it's already late in the day. Otherwise, I'd get a pizza. Get a pizza. Which the what's the foundation of a pizza? The dough. What's the foundation of a hamburger? You'd think it's the patty. The patty is the most celebrated thing. But it ain't a hamburger unless it has two buns and you can make a meal out of beans and rice and an eggplant and stuff like that and call it a meal without any meat involved. And meat is good. But you can't call eating meat alone with some soup, like, like you cook a soup, you cook a vegetable soup with some chicken or some beef and you call that a meal. That's not a meal. You didn't have any rice or potatoes or oats or any of the various breads made of wheat or rye or these things oatmeal for example is good for circulation it's good for the heart it's good to have oatmeal in the morning people need fuel we need fuel if we're active and you should be active you should be exercising you should be getting outside we need fuel for that carbs taste good they cakes bread pastries dough all this stuff if, for for time immemorial it tastes good. I mean, you want to have it with some stuff because it can be kind of bland, but on its own, it should taste good. 
A salad, that's not a meal. If you go to someone, you go to a restaurant with other people and someone orders a salad, well, they're having a salad. Maybe you could call that a snack, but that's not a meal by any stretch. That's not a meal. It wouldn't make me feel remotely full eating just vegetables. I wouldn't feel remotely full. I'd f my st now, you might say, well, part of that is you're just, you're used to eating more, so your stomach is contracting. That's true. Yeah, you could pile up a bunch of uh, chicken wings and eat that. Like 16 chicken wings. You stuff yourself, unless you have fries or nachos or buns or garlic bread or something on the side, that ain't a meal. And I'm still going to probably feel not quite full, even with protein. Protein's great to add with carbohydrates. Together, they work the best. Just, just in conclusion, I think these bourgeois restaurants that are offering good food but with less potatoes or fries or, or, or buns or whatever it is, uh, you know, in the, in the carb category, I think they're doing that because they think that's what their clientele expect and in doing so they're also normalizing that, that this is how food is normal and I, I think it's a bad practice, it ought to be stopped and for all the, that they're charging on that meal, the least they could do is have it fill you up with carbs. Forget all the flavorful salads, that's nice. But if you're not filling someone's tummy up, you're not doing your job as a restaurateur. Hasta luego, amigos.